morning hey good morning vinay uh, thanks for uh, joining this session and i am dilip i head the product zoho crm and in today's session we will see uh, the service platform for 2020 release items and probably we will go a few of them and the, the, these are all the list of things that we are going to cover uh, i am just making it in a a uh, very encapsulated way where uh, we are going to cover very important uh, aspects one is the blended conversation and how do we achieve those blended conversation using our uh, instant messaging framework and the guided conversation which is again a self service platform and then the new ui the completely uh, a new ui which we have reinvented uh, we have done a lot of uh, upliftment and then a big leap towards the accessibility how do we uh, do the inclusivity for various uh, disabled people and then how this new ui can be extensible and composable for the, the developers and uh, the system integrator integrators and so on and so forth great uh, so dilip first of all thank you for joining me i know you presented before it's good to see you again and i'm looking forward to this thank you fantastic right so uh, i'll give you these are all the glimpses that we are going to cover on the instant messaging platform and then <clears throat> uh, going into the guided conversation these are all the important aspects that we would be covering using our demo demo uh, for that uh, you could see uh, the the example that i'm going to take is a, a typical uh, e-commerce purchase and one of the users is going to raise a complaint about the product that he has purchased okay uh, so what you see on the screen is the left hand side is the uh, is my mobile which i have get connected so this is my mobile and then on the right hand side it's a e-commerce website it's a zilker care uh, which takes up uh, the orders and also it takes up the compliance from the customers so what i have done is i have created a, a bot which actually get these compliance from the customers automatically let's get started so for this um, demo we will start off with the whatsapp conversation with the bot so what i'll do is i'll the moment i'll say hello you know this instant message which is getting uh you know incorporated inside the whatsapp it asked for what type of product that you have purchased and i say so and so it asked the regular questions which actually drill down to the the real problem that i have so it goes one after another and i have a problem so i just make it as repair and what type of repair that is so i have a display problem okay now for this particular case you know this is the the important step it asks me whether you want to connect to the the specialist so now i have started off my conversation with the bot and now the bot is stopping me and asking me whether you want to connect to a, a specialist which is going to actually it's going to connect to the the agent so this is the blended conversation so that we are Okay, so that's your definition of blended, right? Exactly, yeah. right. So maybe or not all the things that can be you know captured by the bot. So I say yes, I would love to connect with the the specialist. So what I'll do is you could see here, um, this is my agent uh, login. So I have logged in as an agent, one of the agents. And what happens is from the bot, it actually routes to the the agent who is responsible for taking this kind of issues so the the display issue is what they have told so based on that it routes to the the respective agent now i can pick it up and you could see and so now as an agent i picked up the uh, the chat conversation and i can just go ahead and see what is the history of conversation that has happened with the bot and then i'll come to a place where okay so he needs a a display issue i think i can solve your problem 
right? So it, it just connects with my agent and the customer. Great. Okay, so the conversation goes, probably I can just insert some article which is really helpful for them, say, uh, since it's a display, I'll, I'll choose one of the articles available and then I'll send it across. And then you can just go and seize it. And once that's done, probably you could say, got fixed, got fixed. So the customer stays on what customer stays on what they're not, they're not going into yes. the PC. Yes, the customer, yeah, the customer goes inside his WhatsApp. He 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 actually pings the brand and started the conversation using uh, you know pinging the bot and the bot goes and asks for certain questions and one point of time it transfers the 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 you know the control to the the respective uh, specialist which is actually the agent. Okay. So now it's all done. Now what you can see, uh, see here is there are two ways that you can go ahead with this conversation. So assume that there is a problem where this customer or this agent couldn't solve the problem. In that case, there is a, a, a flurry of options available. I can just you know choose one of them and transfer the entire conversation to another agent. This is one possibility. So this is an escalation path. Exactly, yeah, exactly. The second part is another interesting part. Now, this customer's issue got solved. There are so many things that we can give back to the board, the control giving back to the board. Probably the customer want to purchase another device. For that, probably the bot is much, much easier for them. This is one way. And I'm good, the, the problem got solved, so I want to have my perk. So I just want to get some feedback from them. I can trigger that bot. Again, now the, the, the control goes back to the bot and you could see here, it asks for the, the, the rating and so on and so forth. And that's it. So it's all available. It's all done. And probably I can say, thank you, all good. That's it. So the conversation ends and you could see it started off with board. It went to uh, one of the support agents. Mm -hmm. And then from the support agent, it again goes back to the board. So like this, you can keep on changing the controls based on the business needs of the user. So as a, as a service op, I can decide how the flow needs to go. So this is entirely in the hands of the, the service ops. I can, I can define these boards the way I would like to run my business. This is what we are trying to say it as a, a blended conversation. So to, to explore further more, uh, how do we achieve this? Uh, we will just go inside that. Um, just a second. So for that, what I will do is I'll go inside the setup. And this is the typical setup of the Zoho desk, which is our uh, service platform. And you could see there is something called guided conversation. And so this is a low code, a self-service platform by itself, where you can create any type of board that you want. So for here, uh, I've just created this board. Whatever that you have seen inside the board, other the questions, the flow, everything comes or served from this builder and you could see here uh, the welcoming message uh, you know the, the options that they've asked all those things and how the transfer goes to the repair agent so all these things are captured using this uh, builder so what's your oh, how, is it are you yeah. able to see some patterns are people using bots more or are they just saying transfer me to human uh, yes, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, what happens is if the, if the issues are not, not everyone trusts board in, in terms of solving certain problems, probably a few people would like to connect with the human agent. And there are certain places where they don't want the human agent at all. For example, if they want to have some, the credit card information or some uh, very 
uh, GDPR specific PII data that needs to be put inside the system. They don't want any support agent to see that. <clears throat> so in that aspect, probably the transfer back to the bot is much, much easier. And in all these things, the individual human agent probably can just go back to the bot and the entire flow can be you know, prescribed or can be defined by the, the service op. That's the beauty of it. <clears throat> so this is the entire flow written by me. And this could be dictated. This could be pushed across to the, the various support agents. And, and so if you see um, that that builder looks too much of things, but it's pretty straightforward. I, I'll just give you a glimpse of how it looks like. <clears throat> uh, so this is the builder that you would get to create a, a bot. So by I, I just get started by clicking on that. You could see here, there are two blocks, which is one is the response block and another one is the action block. The response block is something that uh, you, you put it across to the customer. So what information you want to put it across to the customer? And what are all the questions that you want to put it across to the customer? So all those things are captured using that. <clears throat> so I can just have an info card. I can have a text. So I can just say, welcome message, welcome blog, something like that. So I can save it and then I can ask certain questions or I can have some uh, options for that care for that matter. Which product? You can have any number of products that you want. Yep. Product type. So the reason why I'm you know you know running through all these things is it is as simple as just dragging and dropping the blocks that you want to you know, capture from the, the customer. And you could see here, once you create a couple of options, that is a, a tree which actually leads you, makes you to you know, create your own way of you know, handling the customers. So you can click on that and you can keep on adding all these things. So the one which I have created is the, the static one. You can also have a dynamic part of it. So the Z phone and Z pad, you could you could get it from any of the third party application. You could connect to any of your inventory, and you can get those products, and you can push it across here. So for that, we have certain something called action block. The response block is something that visible for the customers. The action block is something that is not visible for the customers, but it is for the internal purposes. I can just have a webhook. You can you can create a webhook. So that that webhook actually listen to any of your third party application, get the necessary details, and then push those details inside your GC, inside your gathered conversation, inside your bot. Yeah, so, can you can you bring in things like calendars and other uh, Zoho applications in this? Yes, exactly, exactly. You can do that. So I'll just show you the list of services that you can actually bring in. Okay. You could see there is a Google. So you can just click on the Google and you can authenticate it. When you authenticate, uh, you know, when you authorize it, it'll ask for calendar, for, uh, you know, the contact or whatsoever. We, we can, we'll link with Dropbox, MailChimp. So all these are the default options available <clears throat> and you can connect any of them. So- I'm surprised you don't have 50 ZO ones right at the beginning. <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm surprised you don't have the- 50 Zoho applications right up right up front. See, the Zoho is the authorization is one. So probably once you've done the authorization, we have I have already done the Zoho authorization part. So once that's done, then obviously any of the applications can be connected. So this is the new connection that I'm creating. So you could see that Zoho Auth one. So inside Zoho, it's anyway the the authorization is already available, and you can start you know connecting to the uh, respective applications. You can have the shared applications and all those things. Right, right. So this is the part. So inside your bot creation, you can have all these things just by dragging and dropping. That is number one. The second important part is 
you can connect to any of the third party application and still you make your guided conversation sit inside your system so you can connect with your uh, payment gateway you can check for your uh, payments whether it is done or not you can connect to any of the third party application and check the statuses of all those things so all these things are possible using the the guided conversation so that is what we are trying to capture inside the guided conversation that's the reason why we say it's a, a self service platform because it extends the the possibilities beyond what you can create within your crm itself or within your uh, you know zoho desk or zoho uh, for that matter so that's about the uh, the guided conversation and then we will move on to the next part, which is the instant messaging part. And you can you can stop me if you have any questions. No, go ahead. Okay, perfect. So I go back. I'm going back to the the setup, and I'm going inside the instant messaging part. And these are all the applications that we support as of now. The one which which still under the hood is. Uh, Instagram and another one is the the Facebook Messenger and there are so many other aspects which are coming up. We are yet to start the development like iMessages mm -hmm. and so on. I was so going to ask about iMessage. Yeah. I'm sorry, Billy. Really? I was going to ask about iMessage. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine, right. So for this demo, what we will see is we will go inside the WhatsApp and so you can you can create channels based on the departments that you have. So these are all the list of departments that I have. And cars is one of the departments for which I have created a channel. And when you create a channel, obviously you need to have a business WhatsApp account. You need to have a, a business Facebook, uh, uh, you know, business message account. When you have all these things, then you would be able to add a, a channel. So I have added one and I can go inside, I can show you. So what is the channel information? You can uh, what is the number and so on and so forth. This is the test account. So the business information might not be available. If you have a, a clear business account, then all this business account information should be available here. The, the important part is this part where how do you connect your customers to this channel? There are various ways to do it. You can take off this link. You can just copy that link and put it inside your uh, website or you can have it inside the, the signature of any of your support agents. That's it. So by clicking this link, automatically what happens is it opens up the WhatsApp chat. That is one way. The second is the QR <clears throat> QR code, excuse me. So you can have, you can print this QR code in one of your websites and people can scan this QR code and you can, they, they can get started with the, the conversation. The message button, it's a straightforward where you can have this button embedded in, in your websites and people clicking on that gets them to the the whatsapp conversation so this is what we are trying to capture inside the, the whatsapp and if you could see here um the conversation part of how uh you know all the conversation happens okay so this is the instant messaging tab where i am just seeing all the conversations this is my conversation and i can choose all the conversations that we already had Dilip Nagarajan is the one that we actually talked. So from my mobile phone. <clears throat> okay. And the interesting part is we have, we have uh, you know, we are supporting four different uh, IM channels. And you could see here, all those channels are available right here. And under this particular page, you can switch between any of the instant messaging channels. That is one thing. And then if you want to, you know, consolidate everything and you want to see from one single shot, that is also a possibility. So this is WhatsApp, this is Line, this is another, oh, wow. uh, you know, live chat. So all these things are possible across various customers. So for this customer, if I choose here, I could see who is the customer is and what are all the conversations that they already had, what are all the issues that they have raised so far, these are all the so many issues that they have raised. And then if they have attached anything, probably that would be applied, you know, available right over here. So <clears throat> under, under a single hood, the entire you know, instant messaging conversations can be brought in. So this is one important aspect that we wanted to 
capture. The second part is on the instant messaging. So there are certain small automation parts available. Uh, you could see here there is a preference and there are three different tabs. One is the agents. So from which channel, from which channel, from which department to whom it needs to be assigned. So those things can be captured here. You can, you can associate everything right here. So if I just go to the cars and, <clears throat> and you could see here all the necessary options are available right over here. So for the department car, when the channel is WhatsApp and you know Telegram, you assign it to the lift. So like that, you can always have all these aspects in place. And <clears throat> when you are talking with uh, with your support agent with your customers, and you want those conversations to be automatically, you know, transferred as a, a ticket. So I I can I can do innumerous conversations. Uh, with my with my customer within a within a within a stipulated time, but when do you want to convert that conversation into a ticket? You can always have a a configuration. So for this, say WhatsApp cars WhatsApp ten minutes for each each and every ten minutes when whenever there is a conversation that gets actually pushed as a ticket inside the system. And if I want to elongate it, you know, prolong it for some more time, say for example for every three hours. Uh, only I want to push the uh, you know conversation as a ticket. You can still do that. The reason why uh, we have this option is there is there are possibilities where for each and every ten minutes the same conversation could be converted into a different tickets. So we don't if if the uh, the, the service ops doesn't want to do that, they can choose how they can have the timer set for the, the uh, you know the ticket creation. Is it so automatic or can the <clears throat> is it automatic or can the agent also control <clears throat> control what con gets converted into a ticket? Uh, yes, because uh, all these things are taken care automatically. Still, the the uh, the agent can still create it, uh, you know, by doing a manual process. But all these things are automated. So if, if you are not setting anything, it is up to the, the agent to take care of it. If you are setting it automatically, it will be taken care of. And <clears throat> do you send a copy to the um, user or is that another uh, step? Uh, um, copy to the user means, uh, I mean, the uh, chat, the agent. The chat transcript. Yes, yes. So it's it's like a, it's like a, a ticket ID and, uh, um, the a typical agent can have the email and by clicking on that, it goes back to the the, the system and they can just see the entire conversation, uh, the, the entire ticket and the conversation as well. And for, for, for the customer, for the customer, mm -hmm. there would be a ticket assigned and probably they can just go inside the portal and see how the ticket is progressing and how it is uh, you know getting closed, what is the resolution time and so on and so forth. Everything would be available for that as well. Okay. So uh, that's about the instant messaging. There is one more thing which I would like to uh, uh, you know, tell, which is the, the dashboard part and uh, how your instant messagings are happening across your brands across your channels. So all those things are captured right here. So you could see the cards applications where how many things got attended, how many new contacts are created using the conversation. So who is the agent who actually taken that conversation and so on and so forth. This is for the last 24 hours. If I want to have it for say the last month, probably you could, you could see how many of them are coming in so what is the inflow, how the response times are happening as far as the instant messagings are concerned. So who are all the agents who are involved in it? What is the pickup time? So all these aspects, which is very essential as far as the instant messaging is concerned, are all available for you. So that's one thing that I want to capture. And uh, uh, this instant messaging is not just one way. If you, if you, if you have any workflows, say for example, a ticket is not, or a, a ticket is closed or the ticket is not closed based on the conditions, 
if you want to notify your customers, you can notify the customers using the workflows and you can make use of the instant messaging inside the workflow itself. So let me create a, a, a rule, um, you know, then a rule wherein I just want to, uh, you know, notify the customers whenever there is a change in the email for all the records. Okay, now you could see here what type of action that I want to do when I, when, I, when there is a change in the email. And you could see a reply via instant messaging. By clicking on that, it gives me an option wherein how do you want to reply to the customer? You want to have it as a WhatsApp, a Telegram. Say so if I say WhatsApp, then what is the template? If we have any templates, you can make use of those templates and whenever there is a, a delay in the ticket or the ticket is closed based on the conditions, the WhatsApp message can be sent to the customer appropriately. So this is also one thing that we are capturing inside the, the instant messaging. Okay, so that concludes the instant messaging part. So if you have any questions, happy to answer.